Uh, the season is just getting started for us in terms of cooler weather. We have nothing like that to worry about, thank goodness. <laughs> we yeah. finally brought out the coach today, though. Yes, it was nice. This morning, you definitely needed a jacket if you were headed out early. I waited until it warmed up a little bit before I took the pups for our morning walk. But tomorrow morning, we are alerting you to those cold temperatures again. A lot of areas are going to be in the 30s. And then the same thing for Friday morning. So you get to wear those heavy coats for a couple more mornings before our temperatures really start to warm up or back to near 80 degrees by Sunday. Don't worry, though, we are tracking cooler air next week for Thanksgiving, but our stretch of sunny days is also going to continue across the area. We did have that front that moved through, but now we're just seeing clear skies, very dry air, and those breezy northwesterly winds that developed behind the front, they're going to start to subside as we head through the evening hours. And with clear skies, light winds, and dry air in place, that's really allowing our temperatures to drop off. So we're expecting to wake up to 36 in Denton, 38 in Gainesville. Metroplex likely still going to be in the lower 40s tomorrow morning, but those outlying areas, that's where we're going to see some of the chilliest temperatures and also some patchy frost. But we have a beautiful seasonal Thursday on the way. Highs are back in the upper 60s, right where they should be for this time of year. And then we have another weak front that moves in Thursday afternoon, so that results in another chilly morning on Friday. We'll see those mid 30s in the surrounding areas, but we'll likely stay in the lower 40s around DFW. And Friday is when we typically see our first frost, and that's not going to be the case for us. The first freeze, rather, and that's not going to be the case for us. But look at our temperatures really warming up over the weekend. We're back to the lower 70s on Saturday, 80 degrees on Sunday. And then we are tracking our next system. That's going to bring in another front as we head towards Thanksgiving. So we are looking at those temperatures staying on the cool side for the holiday. But over the next several days, we're just going to continue to sit in this quiet pattern. Any of those storm systems staying off to our north, not impacting us. But we are looking at our next system moving in as we head closer to Thanksgiving. So Wednesday and Thursday, that's when we could see some showers in the area. Models are trending drier for Thanksgiving, but don't be surprised if you wake up to maybe a little bit of drizzle before we dry out into the afternoon hours. But look at this bright blue skies across Arlington. We're sitting at 65 degrees. Winds are still a little bit breezy out of the northwest, 10 to 15 miles an hour. Those are going to weaken as we get closer to sunset. And then just after, look at this northwest winds about five miles an hour around eight o'clock. But temperatures are cooling off pretty quickly. We're back into the lower 50s by 9 p.m. But your first alert seven day forecast is looking pretty nice. 60s through Friday, that warm weekend on the way. And then we'll start to see some of those clouds moving back in towards early next week and then low rain chances starting Wednesday into Thanksgiving. All right, Brittany, thanks so much.